Hello everybody. Um, what's wrong with this top? Anyway, hello everyone. It's the Cursing Seamstress. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video. Um, I mentioned, I think, the last video um, that my mother has gone into a nursing home. So it is up to my daughter and me to um, take care of her house and um, clean it out sort of halfway um, and so that's what we've been doing um, not moving furniture but just going through drawers and organizing the linens and taking things to um, a local thrift store that um, she's not going to need anymore but in the process um, I found some sewing items and I thought I would share those with you my mom was not really a sewer too much she I know she sewed um, the first recollection I have of her sewing was when we lived in um, Miami and that was in I don't know 1968 we were there for a year um, <clears throat> and my mom I specifically remember that she made herself a white dress with big red polka dots on it and it was out of a polyester type fabric it was sleeveless with a scoop neck and um sort of a little bit of a full foolish skirt and i think she used the same fabric to make my sister who is four years younger than i a very similar dress so um i don't know where that sewing machine machine ever ended up. I don't know. I don't remember when I didn't see it anymore. Um, after we left Miami, um, we moved back to Staten Island, New York. Um, <coughs> and I remember my mother took sewing lessons with a lady named Ms. Gallo. And she went, my mother went with her friend, Barbara Weber. Um, and I remember meeting Ms. Gallo. She was just really an artistic person. She was older, probably my age now. And um, so mom would uh, carry her stuff to wherever they had these lessons. And, um, and I don't remember what she made. I don't think she made, I'm sure she didn't make anything for me or my sister or anything like that. So, but um Anyway, I think that's the last time that I remember her sewing, except by hand, she made Snoopy cloth ornaments one year. And I think that was when my daughter was very small, um, probably three or so. I think I still have some of those. Um, but anyhow, she has a sewing machine at the house it's a um, it's an old singer. It's in a cabinet. It's folded down into the cabinet. I looked at it briefly. Um, she used it mostly just for decoration. I don't know if she ever sewed on that. I'm going to have to ask her about that. Um, I'm sure the machine would have to be worked on. My daughter told me that she mentioned it to her and said that it was an old machine, but it had been electrified. And I've heard of that happening with mechanical machines um, being able to be turned into electrical machines. So don't know, it's kind of in a corner. Any, anyway, I am going to just show you um, what I have found at the house. Um, this is one thing, I did not see a lid for this. Um, there might be one. My mother's every, Thing in her house that has drawers or cabinets is just absolutely packed full of everything. Christmas decorations, old Christmas cards, um, bank statements from 20 years ago. I, I can't even tell you. It's just amazing. But um, so this is one thing. Now this is thread for the most part. There is, um, oh, here's a Christmas deck. These are the kinds of things I'm finding. This is a little Christmas 
bulb here, the paint's coming off of it. Um, this has a couple of, actually three thimbles in here. And, um, oh gosh, a few buttons and, oh, just everything. But, you know, the colors, I'll stand up and show you this a little better. The colors of thread are certainly wonderful. Um, and mostly they are, um, there's a Talon brand. There's some invisible thread. Now I've never used invisible thread, but I might have to give that a try. Um, and some of the brands, I don't even know what they are. Most of the brands are name brands. This one is, this is from a company called Sewing Bee. I've never heard of that company. Um, this is the dual um, duty uh, Clarkson coat. So there's a few random buttons in there too. So this will come in very handy. Um, I'll enjoy going through it. Oh, there's also needles ballpoint needles. This is by Pen. I've never heard of that brand. Here are some more ballpoint needles, 97 cents at Kmart. And some bobbins which may fit the machine she has. There are plastic ones and then there are some metal ones as well. So that's that plastic container. Then I found this. I have never seen this before that I have a recollection of. It's a little house and it's a sewing kit and it's so cute. They've got buttons sewn on here and you open it up. This is a pin cushion and then there's stuff in here. Don't know who this belonged to. Um, I'm a little afraid to take some of this stuff out because Dixie's walking around and there's loose stuff in here. But there are needles in here. There is um, some thread. Uh, Talon thread. This is gray. Um, a bunch of, of needles, sewing machine needles, and then loose stuff. I'm, I'm not going to take out the loose stuff because, like I said, Dixie's here. Here is uh, this may go to the Singer sewing machine. It looks like it's a, um, a zipper foot. Perhaps it's a pair of tweezers in here. And these look really kind of cool. So that's this little thing. Another metal bobbin in there. The next thing is a tin that I remember from my childhood. I think this tin belonged to my father's mother or my father's grandmother. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a Christmas tin. I think fruitcakes used to come in these um, or, or cookies maybe. Um, but I remember this from when I was a little girl. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that I used this when um, when I was sewing, and I first started sewing for real clothing that I could wear when I was probably um, 18 years old. And I think I've told the story, but I made two wrap skirts. They were very simple. This is before I knew the importance of ironing. And I remember that uh, long um, band that was sewn at the top of the skirt, how, um, I'm sure I didn't pin it or iron it. And I just remember sewing it and it was twisting. And on one of them in particular, it really twisted a lot. And so, yeah, I was very new and did not know what I was doing. Um, here are, so anyway, I do think that this is what I would have used um, my mother's stuff, but I've got some <clears throat> needles there, more pen, ballpoint, and why ballpoint? I don't know because I don't really think I knew at that point um, that ballpoint needles were for knits and I wasn't sewing with knits. There's thread in here, some more. These are the kinds of things I find everywhere at my mother's house. Um, 
And the rest of this, yeah, I remember this for buttons. So there are, not sure why that's in there. Um, a nut or a bolt, a nut. Um, oh yeah, well let me just show you what a seam ripper. That's cool. Um, just a bunch of stuff tangled up in here. Looks like another zipper foot. Um, I'll just tip this so you can see what is in here. It's mostly buttons mixed in with a bunch of other things, but I will tip it your way and maybe you can see what's in here. Bobbin. Button. Tons of buttons. There's some hardware for uh, hanging curtains. I think I can throw that away. A tag off of a shirt. That's important. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's on a button. I don't know what that is. Anyway, that's another another sewing foot. Not sure which one that is. One of those bra clasp thingies. Cute button. Window hardware. Big button. And this looks like it goes to one of those oil lamps. So anyway, I am going to thin this out when I have nothing else to do. Um, just wanted to share that. I think that's all that there was. I'm going to have to close all this stuff up because Dixie is really nosy. And she likes to find things pick them up and run with them. So, <clears throat> oh, wait, there's something, something else. I forgot this. I don't know where this came from. Um, <clears throat> it looks like this. Hinges on the back. It's plastic. And this is what's in there. And uh, Needles just for hand sewing. Um, thread. Here are some prim buttons that you can cover with fabric. Thread. Here is a Talon zipper that was, it's navy, 14 inches. It was um, 65 cents. There's a pencil in there. There's um, a little tray in there with. Um, bobbins, sewing machine needles, a needle threader, which I'm sure I need to start using, and um, so more thread. So that's that. Let's see if I can close this up. I'm going to pack all this away and I'm going to head to work. Um, thanks for watching. The next time <clears throat> I do a video, I've been postponing this, but I bought a while ago, while I was living in this house, it was in the past nine months, um, I bought a Martha Washington sewing table, sewing cabinet, um, and I did some research on it, wrote it up, and I don't know what I did with it, but I thought I would um, do a video on it and just show you what it looks like. It's really interesting. It's an interesting piece of history. All right, you guys have a wonderful Monday and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.